Welcome! This tutorial is one of a series that we are creating to demonstrate user interface features of the NASA IPAC Extragalactic Database. In this tutorial, we demonstrate one of NED's most used services, the Cone Search. This search is designed to help you explore the immediate surroundings of an object. For example, you can search for the lensed images around a lensing galaxy, or search near a cluster location for the brightest galaxy. Let's get started. On the NEBD homepage, select the Search Objects tab. In the drop-down menu, select Near Name or Position Search. This will bring you to the Cone Search page. Here you will find three different methods to input your cone search. The first one is Near Name Search. We'll search around M51A, the Whirlpool Galaxy. Let's set a search radius of one arc minute. And under Search Options, you can set constraints on redshift, object type, name, prefix, etc. Here we'll do a search without any constraints. Just click Go. The search result will come back and be displayed in a tri view. On the top left are the objects within the search radius overlaid on a background image. Currently, the two mass K band image is the default, but you can change the background image by clicking the Hips button, then Change Hips. Select the image you want and click Search. Your preferred image will be displayed in the background. On the top right is a histogram of redshifts of all the objects with available redshifts in the search area. And at the bottom, an interactive table lists all the objects satisfying the selection criteria. Selecting the number at the beginning of any row will lead you to a summary page for that object, where you can obtain more detailed information such as cross IDs, coordinates, photometry, redshifts, and others. Select the row for any object in the table and the marker for that same object will be highlighted in the upper left image as well. Columns of the summary table can be filtered. For example, we can filter the objects by their types. If you only want to display the star clusters, you can enter asterisk CL in the space under type and hit enter or press go on your mobile device virtual keyboard then only the star clusters will remain in the summary table. The same filtering will be applied in the image and redshift plot as well. Hopefully you can see these objects trace the spiral arms of the galaxy really nicely. Our second type of search is the near position search, where you provide a specific location of the sky and a search radius, and Ned will return the known objects within the search radius around that center position. You can still specify search options, constraints on redshift, object types, etc. Let's do a search around RA 64.03680 degrees and declination minus 24.07390 degrees. A search radius of one arc minute and with an available redshift of less than 0.5. To view other examples of supported input coordinate formats, Click the small question mark icon here to bring up the NED help system. From this result, you can see that this is a very crowded region with a lot of galaxies. By filtering the object type to select galaxy clusters only, we are left with one object in the field, the galaxy cluster MACS J0416.1-2403. The third method for specifying the cone is an IAU search. This is used when you have an IAU style coordinate based object name. For example, if you're given an IAU style name 0955 plus 476 and you were told it's a quasar, enter it under IAU name and set object type to be QSO in search options. If you have set a filter such as a redshift in the example above, make sure to reset it to the default. Click Go, and the search will help you find the Quasar HB890955 plus 476. More instructions on how to use Cone Search can be accessed by clicking on the question mark near the page title. For additional questions, you can always connect with the NED Help Desk by clicking the small mail icon at the bottom of the page.